Hey, this is Chris Rubo with ASI Media. I'm here at SNS Activewear's facility in Reading, Pennsylvania, and we're really seeing nothing short of a modern marvel. Maybe what is the next uh, phase of evolution in distribution center efficiency? And here to talk about that today is um, RJ with SNS. RJ is running this operation. Um, RJ, so just tell the folks uh, that are watching, what, what are we doing here? Where are we? Absolutely. So our system is called Pockpick. Um, what it means is basically it's a robotic system that assists our order pickers in proficiently and effectively processing orders to get quality products to our customer on time. Uh, so basically it's called Pockpick because it pops the tote out, we pick from the tote, and it pops the tote back in the system. Okay. And what, and what we're seeing for everybody in the camera, that, that what RJ's talking about, if you walk this way a little bit, these guys right down here are the robots, and they are moving these totes following these QR codes, if I'm correct. That is correct. Right? In perfect, you call it a dance floor. I call it a dance floor, Because it's yes. a sequence dance to a picking area where human pickers are taking, packing, and getting orders out all over. Correct. Okay. Yeah, so the way the system works, as you mentioned, everything moves off the QR code. So we call the system our grid which entitles all of our, our all of our product into this OE rack system, as you see here. Um, and the robots itself move on the dance floor, which is the spot where the robots move, based on QR codes. So what happens is the bot gets the order, or the assignment task, we call it. It goes into the grid, finds the rack and the tote that it needs for the specific product, and picks up that tote, or that rack. Brings that entire rack to our associates, where it brings it to a pick station. At that pick station, it pops out the tote that's required to fill the order. Our associate validates that the product that it picks out is the correct size, color, and quantity, and we package that up at that point to get to our customer. The tote at that point then pops back into the rack, and the robot goes along its way, takes the rack back into the grid to find its next task. All right. So the big, big question I think is, it's just, it's just cool to look at to see here. It's just a cool thing to see. But beyond just being cool, there's some real business games. What, what are they? Absolutely. So business gains, as far as SNS are, is it, it has increased our productivity and it has reduced the cost of operation. So the amount of lines we process per day, the cost has come down. Um, other proficiencies or, or other benefits to the system is for our associates themselves. Um, it has it's helped our on our safety picture. So instead of in a traditional DC where you have someone who has to manually lift boxes all day long and try to fill an order, the bots are assisting the associates by doing that heavy lift and bringing them the orders that they need to. Um, but really from an operation, it's, it's more efficient, it's more cost effective, and it's, and it's a win to our associates. And, and as often comes up when we're talking about automation and robotics, people say, oh, the 50 people had jobs. Uh, there's 180 people working here. It's just different kinds of jobs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so to hit on that point, it was more of a realignment. So instead of having so many pickers as we had in the past in the traditional DCs, they're reallotted. So we need we need automation technicians, we need programmers, we need people who are more knowledgeable and functional with the robotic system, um, which does bring challenges. But that's where we've taken the aspect of train, train, train. Um, we train our good quality associates to work hand in hand with the system, not let the system become overtaken, eliminate jobs, but increase the quality of the jobs. RJ, thanks for letting me come out. Hey, thank you so much, Chris. All right.